Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again to have another match reaction, guys. And first of all, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring, guys. And for those who are watching, if you want to contribute to this channel, you can always contribute via the link description via PayPal as well, and always catch me on Monday at 8 p.m. to send your super chats to help improve the quality content of this channel. But let's get it straight cracking, guys, because I'm not here to waste your time. It is Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 2, Manchester United dropping two points. Ah! I am disgusted. Manchester United were doing so damn well, guys, which I have to agree. Manchester United got the lead in the first half and the second half. And then after that, later on in the second half, the last 20 minutes, F did all up, messed it up. This so pointed us, Manchester United fans. We were so damn happy. And it was a game where Bruno Fernandes himself got two goals. Yes, he was back from the slumps. Yes, he was back saying, guess who's back? Bruno's back. He damn right with two goals without CR7 because they've been saying that Bruno and CR7 don't work. You might be right. It looks like it. But yes, Bruno Fernandes did his thing. Manchester United, uh, after all, didn't do their thing in terms of securing those two extra points and we dropped a point. Ah. Uh, Manchester United. This is just was just not going to work for us right now, guys. It is what it is, but I am so damn pissed off. Manchester United could do way better in terms of closing the game. You know, it's been a problem for us, but today it really, really slapped us in the face, guys. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. In terms of the performance, guys, Manchester United themselves started off really good. I don't understand where did they go wrong in the whole entire game. But started off good in the first 10 minutes with Manchester United scoring the first goal, which was a blunder mistake by Martinez himself, with Bruno himself making it 1-0. Bruno Fernandes taking the long shot from a set piece as well. Well, well, well written set piece, I have to say. Bruno Fernandes taking a long range strike. Poof. You know, as they say, Butterfingers, Martinez slipping it in, going underneath is nuts. Yes. Yes, Bruno Fernandes might will just say that. He nuts Martinez. And Martinez trying to look at the referee like, eh, ref, help me. What's going on? It was a foul. There was no foul. You had your butter fingers. You let the ball go under your nuts. And it ended up being 1-0 to Manchester United. I also thought Manchester United in the first half, the pressing was okay. The pressing was okay. We was getting in Aston Villa's faces as well, making it really difficult for them to go through the lines. At, at the same time, Manchester United did not create as much clear-cut chances in the first 45 minutes. And then from there, in that second half, when Manchester United again got the lead with Bruno Fernandes making it two goals to nil. Oh, Bruno, Manchester United doing so well with Aston Villa losing the ball. Giving the ball away to Fred. Fred with a simple pass to Bruno Fernandes for Bruno Fernandes to finish it off, which was just a brilliant finish by Bruno Fernandes. You know, it is he is the Portuguese Magnifico. You know, he goes left, he goes right, he makes defenders look shy. He's the Portuguese Magnifico. He is, but he hasn't been that for a very long time. So I am so damn delighted, guys. Guys, smash that like button if you thought Bruno Fernandes done a, played a very good game today. But then that's when all the whole disaster came for Manchester United with Jacob Ramsey making it 2-1. Uh, um, Manchester United at that time making a change with Alenga, which I thought had an exceptional game as well. He'd done his job for a winger, causing a lot of problems. When he came off and Jaden Sancho came on, Jaden Sancho's first touch, first cut. A first couple of minutes of action was ended with him ending on the floor, losing the ball. So right now, it's not looking great for Jaden Sancho. But yes, Jacob Ramsey making it two goals to one. And you were thinking, oh, surely not. Surely not. God, no. Don't, don't, don't tell me they're going to equalise. And they did. Eventually, they equalised with the Philip Coutinho, that ex scouts of scum, destraining us, ruining our, our chances of being three points behind. 
top four, fourth place, Arsenal. Now we're in a situation where we play the same level of game of Arsenal and Arsenal about five points or six points clear from us now. And this top four is looking really difficult. But with Aston Villa in the match, with, uh, sorry, with Aston Villa drawing, damn me, I was so damn pissed off, Coutinho. Gerald must be absolutely happy right now. But Manchester United, full time, 2 2 against Aston Villa in that second half. Manchester United, again, Villa, Villa was just on top of United in the second half. They were in control. Manchester United struggled after the 70th minute as soon as Aston Villa made it two goals to one. Man of the match, guys, definitely has to go to Bruno Fernandes. I am not in doubt. You guys are not in doubt. Bruno's with the two goals. He had a good performance as well to add to it. Yep. Although Manchester United did draw a lot, couple of players let us down. Don't give the match. Has to go to Edison Cavani. Where was he? What was he about? What was he doing today? I don't know. Edison Cavani had a poor game with Ronaldo. And when you guys been saying, hey, no, Ronaldo's a problem. Ronaldo's not a problem. He's an asset and it's a bonus, you know? You know? So, like, Edison Cavani, as much as he pressed, he didn't do F all throughout that whole game. Inept. 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 But yeah, it is what it is. In terms of players, I thought Anthony Alengo did well today. He had a good game. Bruno as well. Cavani was so poor, like I said earlier on. Greenwood had a decent game. David De Gea constantly saving us so many times in that game. It is what it is, man. <laughs> but guys, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm really going to be real with you. I swear to God, sometimes I feel like Manchester United are one minute, man. No jokes. They're one minute, man. They perform for about, what, 20 minutes? And then the rest of the 70 minutes, or even if they do F4, they are one minute, man. They, they man look like the type of guy that cannot satisfy their wife. I won't be surprised if they're showing the same exact performance on at Old Trafford on the pitch. They probably show the same exact performance at the woman, with their woman, giving them one minute performances. The only person that probably, I would say, that doesn't definitely give a one minute performance it's Cristiano Ronaldo because he's giving twins he's out here going see to his woman but these men's out here they're definitely one one minute man they can't even make us scream on the pitch so what makes you think they'll make uh, their lady scream on the pitch we ain't screaming we ain't climaxing we're not here what, what's happening these guys yo 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 what take me back show me what you got because I don't want no one minute team we have a one minute team Definitely, they cannot perform. They cannot perform. This has been your match reaction, Manchester United fans. You know, Manchester United Holics, it is what it is. Like I said before, they are one minute men. Um, getting that top four is going to be difficult. But I guess your boy, Alvaro and Spice, again, this has been your match reaction. Remember to subscribe to the Red United TV as well. And also follow the socials above, you can see then also in the link description. And make sure if you want to contribute to the channel, link description via PayPal, as always, guys. But yep, it has been your match reaction. Reaction. Catch me on Monday, 8 p.m. for the catch-up, volume 72 or 73, live in the UK, of course, streaming on Facebook and also YouTube and also Twitch. But it is what it is, guys. I'm pissed off. Have a night. You guys enjoy your day. Peace. <laughs> oh, we ain't good. We ain't.